protect his people is mine. How many other ministries are hitting the road and literally protecting this country from what's coming, the evil that's coming, the alien invasions that's coming, uh, the invading serpent seed armies that are coming? How many other people are standing up to, to, to lead the Lord's people against the enemies of the Most High? You know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, read a couple of emails. If you have a question for the show or a comment, you can send it to SherryTalkRadio at Yahoo.com. And then I'm just going to leave it at that, folks, for, um, for this week. Question from a listener. Last weekend, I had a really bad feeling come over me as if something bad was going to happen, but I didn't know where it was coming from, whether it was my family or something in the public arena. It bothered me so bad that I was crying for hours, and I just couldn't put my finger on it in my spirit, and I asked Job out and didn't hear anything. Could this new info about the Chinese, the New Mexico, Arizona border be what is tugging at my spirit to wake up to? It's what he's hit me with. And at the same time, uh, the whole thing with the Hader and Collider opening up the Lion's Gate in two to three weeks. I keep feeling about two to three weeks. And then you look at the time to the time gate, or the time lines, uh, in the Bible codes talks about Maitreya arriving in September. And so there has to be a correlation between the Hadron Collider and Maitreya's arrival as, as Iran's Mahdi in the Middle East. And once he arrives, folks, that, that you know, the, end, the second half of the tribulation period begins. Period. I mean, he's coming after the Christians. Uh, the first thing he does, if you read about it in Revelation chapter 13, is begin his war on the saints. Uh, and at the same time, we have his forces from Nibiru here on earth with him. Uh, and, and it's just going to you know, read Joel chapter 2, folks. It's just going to be a huge mess. And the only thing to protect the people on earth against all of this uh, is the Oregon will kill them off. And the Lord will mark his own people, those who believe in him. I believe that's down the road from the plagues that he, he is going to. Uh, uh, because if you look at the, the tribulation period, folks, it's, it's the first half is Satan's wrath on man, and the second half is God's wrath on Satan. And so uh, the first half uh, was Satan's wrath. Christians are falling victim to that every day. Uh, the second half, they would be protected from God's wrath. And I'm not talking about uh, being whisked off the earth and raptured, but they would be protected from the plagues that, that God's going to throw on Satan and this whole avian flu is one of them uh, because it doesn't hurt normal people question from a listener what is this garbage with Russia and Georgia <laughs> I know it's some bogus reason why they're fighting and they're lying about it they still know exactly what trade they're trying to cover up or pull off maybe a UFO show in the sky or my tray has returned get out the popcorn and candy for that one yeah exactly you know uh, I talked about it last week about this whole charade with Russia because uh, at the same time they're 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 entering uh, Ossetia and bombing it, whatever, and, and you're hearing lies. You're talking about, you're hearing that Russia is bombing them, and then you're hearing that it's actually the United States bombing it and bombing Russia and you know, all these lies. They're sitting together at the Olympics, and so uh, that was quite a show of unity for me. At the time, they're bombing each other, Amer uh, uh, supposed Russians. It looks more like an American versus Russia war over there. But they're sitting together at the Olympics, and, and to me that was a signal that they're unified, that they're both in on it, uh, I think this is where uh, they can pull out the nuke attacks in their hat that they had planned. That uh, oh, I'm gonna you know, Putin can accidentally press the wrong buttons, and all of a sudden we've got four cities in America nuked. I think that's where that could come about. Uh, you know, it's a trigger for try to pull off World War Three over there. Uh, supposedly, Maitreya is going to come in. They always had this, this Illuminati plan, and, and I always thought that was for Jesus himself and not Maitreya, to where the entire North Korea peninsula would just be nuked and on fire, and then here comes Jesus and his angels from heaven. And I've told you that it's just a fake light. They, where they, they have this technology where they can glow like angels, and, and they'll shape shift into angelic-looking beings and all this stuff. It was always an Illuminati plan, and, and that usually came after the whole Korean peninsula was on fire. And so I don't know what they're doing with this Maitreya thing, how they're going to bring him in. The president from Iran has stated that uh, he needs to destroy Israel uh, or subdue Israel, and then Maitreya will come. He's also saying that, that Maitreya will be here in September. So, he, you know, we're usually on the same page, me and this guy, because we're both watching this Maitreya, of course, for different reasons. He's watching him because he wants him to be here, and I'm watching him because I want to get ready so we can destroy his forces. Uh, <laughs> And so uh, next month can be very pivotal. And I think that's what the Lord's hitting his people about and, and warning them about. I know he's woken me up to things that, you know what, it's, it's the last couple of minutes in the fourth quarter, and we've got a huge gateway in the southwest of America 
uh, where Satan's forces are just going to march right through. And unless we do something about it, millions and millions of people are going to be killed. And so we need to get busy. We've got maybe two or three weeks, and, and it would take every minute of every day, two and three weeks, to make all the orgo needed to go down and get that area. And so uh, we don't have much time to waste. And then if I don't get funding at all, it's not going to get done. I mean, it's just, it just won't get done. And so it's going to be one or the other. You know, I have full confidence that the Oregon areas I do have in Heartland American right now, in the middle of America, is enough to kill them once they reach that area. Once they reach the Heartland of America, because all the states are going to wipe up before they get there. And so uh, we got work to do, folks. And it's going to be up to, it's up to you whether we get it done. We finance this ministry so we can go out and do it, or just millions of people are going to be killed, going to be raped and killed, because they don't plan on leaving anybody alive. And with uh, being masked on the Mexican border for years, you can bet your, your, your children, your, your sons, your daughters won't be safe from them. Question for the show. By the way, what is the ratio of serpents among humans you think here in North America? Could Quebec City be rampant with them? Or are all cities evenly spread with these things? They're everywhere. You know what I'm seeing is that we chased the Capricorn out of Salt Lake City uh, because the Capricorn was, which was a ship used to fly in. They used to hover over Salt Lake City, uh, up in space somewhere. And so we went to Salt Lake City two years ago, one growing the heck out of it, and chased them out of where going. And so, and so now all of a sudden you see them amassing in Quebec. And uh, so, so uh, that's where they went. They went from Salt Lake to Quebec. Definitely need a lot more ore going to Quebec to chase them out because you want them in your city. And so, uh, to extend our dreams controlled by these things, they have dreamscape technology. They can they can control your dreams. And what proportion of them are our own dream worlds? You know, at Dulce Base, I can't remember which level it is, but they actually had technology to where they could. I'm starting to choke me. I'm going to feel my my throat. It feels like. Someone's hands are around my throat choking me. Uh, they have dreamscape technology. And you can read about it on my website. I have it at orgonblasters.com. So it's, it's our government that's behind that. Uh, the black military is what they call it. Black ops military. And so, um, yeah, they can, they can give people false visions. You'll hear from Pentecostals all the time. They have so much fun with them. Uh, we'll have Gabriel visit this person tonight, and <laughs> Michael, and Michael the Archangel. And they have all these weird visitations and dreams at night, and I call it the Church of NORAD, because <laughs> it's government technology that's behind all these false visitations and dreams and visions. That uh, And the reason that it haunts the Pentecostal crowd so much is because they're also such open access to demonic possession, because what they're doing isn't the Lord to begin with. He doesn't speak in, in, in hocus-pocus tongues to people. When the Lord speaks to you, he speaks to you in a language you can understand. When we speak to the Lord, we can speak to him in our, in our language. We don't need some kind of mystery voodoo language to speak to him. Uh, and I've written about it on my website, about about tongues and what the Lord has told me about tongues. And so, yeah, they're open for demonic a- demonic access because of that. And, uh, and, and NORAD has fun with them. I mean, and just normal people getting harassed by dreamscape technology. It, it, it happens to just normal people. So how can you tell it's them? Usually when it's dreamscape technology, they start flashing pictures and images. And so that's one way of knowing it's them. You'll see something like coming into focus. Like if like they'll, they'll put a picture in your mind. And it's almost like they have to start sharpening and work on the focus so that it comes in clearer. Uh, or they'll start, uh, the images, they'll start flashing images in your, in your mind and stuff. Uh, you can tell it's technology. It's not you. It's not you. It's technology. Uh, <laughs> and having orgone in your rooms will cut down on a lot of that. I don't know how. Uh, they just kind of can hone in on you. Most people have chip implants. And so usually when you can find out where your chip implants are, because it's usually the access they, they have to, to harass you with, you can get neodyme magnets, and it'll deactivate the chip. And so, uh, you know, I've got uh, articles on, on deactivating chip implants on my websites. You know, I think I've just about everything covered at this point. I've uh, had <laughs> this for so long, uh, I can't see them coming out with anything that, that we're not on top of, that we can't defeat. Uh, and just becoming aware of it is, is the biggest uh, tool that we have, the Lord keeping us ahead, one step ahead of everything that they're doing and, and how we can stop it and how we can defeat it. And so, uh, you know, there's no warriors around me sitting and singing about being a warrior. There, there's people that are doers and actually being warriors. And, and that's just the biggest difference between... Uh, what real warriors are and which church pew Christians are. And uh, a lot of them are about to be tested through martial law here in this country. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for tonight, uh, folks. 
See you next week, uh, Monday night. God bless.